Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. I want to speak to you about getting unstuck. So, I always think that when you start complaining about things in life, it's a really good indicator that you're not taking responsibility for things. And in life, there's a lot of ways that we create our world around us. Um, first of all, it's the vibration of where we're at in our lives, the things that we hold on to from the past, the things that we think about, our beliefs, all of those things affect how we experience life. And intention is incredibly important. The intention of what we want to create into, what we want to create in our lives. But we live in a 3D world, and in a 3D world, action is also incredibly important. And this is really what I want to speak to, about, to you about this week. And that is that when things kind of grind to a halt, or when you find that you are complaining and moaning and blaming either a situation or a person about something that's going on in your life, that it's, it should be an alert. It's kind of like, for me, when I find myself complaining and blaming, <laughs> It's like a red flag. It's a red flag to say that I'm not taking responsibility for something that's going on in my life. A red flag to say, actually, Brit, stop. <laughs> Take a look and see what needs to happen. What do you need to be doing to create change in your life? It's accepting the situation exactly as it is and deciding what you need to do from here to going forwards. And there's a number of times that this has happened in my life. One time I found myself blaming and complaining was when my kids were still at school in Botswana and there were things about the school that I was frustrated and irritated and complaining about <laughs> and what I then sort of said to myself is it doesn't change anything to sit there and complain. Complaining about something changes absolutely nothing, it just makes you feel frustrated and cross and irritable and you want to blame people but you blame them without taking any action again causes no change. And so when I then got asked if I wanted to then stand for the council, the, the board of directors, um, I kind of laughed when the person asked me and I said, isn't that so strange? Because I was just telling somebody that I needed to, you know, put my sort of walk my talk instead of complaining about things, I should take action. And so I accepted the invitation because to me, taking action will actually change things. And by being on the board and not complaining about and not just complaining about things meant that I was able to make changes and to do the things that I felt were right or to try and influence what I felt was right. And this can go for so many things. It can be when you're in a relationship, if you find yourself complaining about the other person with you, with you in that relationship, be a friendship, be a work relationship, be it a romantic relationship, take a stop, you know, just pause for a moment and ask yourself, is there any action I could be taking, a conversation I could have? Um, do I need to forgive somebody? Um, there's so many things that you can do. Um, another instance is if you're finding that, that you're frustrated at work and you're complaining about work, the company that you work for, or whatever it is. Stop and ask yourself, is there a conversation I need to have with somebody? Is there some action I need to be taking? Do I need to be looking for another job? What are the things that I need to be doing to change the situation that I'm currently in? And please note that they're not how should I be thinking. First of all, yes, you do need to get yourself into the right vibration and the right space. But second of all, it's not about just thinking the situation right. It's about taking action that will change the situation you're in because your actions will cause a ripple effect. But first of all, make sure that you're in the right space and in the right vibration to take that action. Because if you take that action from fear, from hurt, from pain, from anger, then the ripples that go out and the change that you'll be creating will be tainted with that space that you've come from. I hope this makes sense to you. And if you would like to find out a bit more about coaching with me or my online courses, all of those links will be in the show notes below. And I hope you have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.